y'all, Teresin here. Welcome to my world. Um, on today's video, I'm going to be doing the continuation of my spooky experiences. Um, I would have had this video out Saturday, but Saturday I was enjoying a fall festival with my um, one and only best friend. Uh, she came up to hang out with me for the day and I was really happy and excited. Um, so, uh, quick little haul about what I got there, basically. Obviously, I'm excited to about my new earrings and yes they are fairly heavy but I particularly like to feel the dangly heaviness of an earring in my ear anyway um, I also got this candle um, these two ladies uh, had started a private business together um, making different candles and uh, body scrubs and etc and I was really excited to find lavender. So obviously I said yes to this. Um, I believe it was $10. And the next thing that I got, my best friend got for me, um, is this shirt. I'm going to try to do it to where I can show you properly without giving it away. I can do the dramatics of it. So it is a long sleeve shirt. Um, and it has a heart spider web on the pocket there. And on the back, which is my favorite part, it says, talk spooky to me. <laughs> um, if it's backwards, I apologize. But yes, it says, talk spooky to me. Um, so getting into this video now, um, I couldn't make up my mind. I have been thinking for the past couple days what I would be talking about on this video, which experience I wanted to go over. And I couldn't exactly make up my mind. So let's see here if time permits. Um, I might talk about a couple of experiences surrounding this particular area. Uh, so ever since I was a little girl, I'd always heard stories from my older siblings. And of course I had felt the energies in the house when I went there, but my mamma's house, which, um, was my dad's mom, uh, particularly her basement, um, was haunted. <laughs> I feel kind of, it feels interesting to say that word. It was haunted, but yes, it was haunted. So the basement in particular was a very uncomfortable place to be. You did not want to be there alone and you did not want to be there alone at night. It was one of them places that when it was dark, it was extremely like, I don't even know how to say, it. I want to say pitch black, like you could toss something into the air with it being dark and it would just disappear. You wouldn't see or hear it fall. It would just, it was very creepy. Um, so yeah. And the family legend has it that my aunt, um, my dad's half sister, uh, had done or held some sort of seance thing back in the day when she was like a teenager or early adult. And so it was just a very uncomfortable place to be. Um, so yeah, so the house, my mom's house is basically, you know, got some spookiness to it. Um, but when I was uh, 17 and a half, um, the year my dad died, after he died, I decided that I wanted to stay um, in my hometown. Um, I had been living with my mother in a separate state um, with uh, the man who is now my stepdad. Um, so the man she was with, etc. Not going to go into that. That's not what this episode is about. Um, but I decided to stay there and my brother and my older sister, who is also now passed away, was there at that moment. Sorry, got a notification. Uh, wanted to make sure it wasn't nothing important. Um, but we were all staying there at my mama's house after my dad passed away. Um, and, uh, so one time... I was uh, sleeping in the living room on the couch and for some odd reason, I don't know why the energy decided to do this or play with it this way, but the TV all of a sudden turned on and I mean like it turned on to the, um, the black fuzzy staticky, like when there's like... I'm looking for a word and I'm not finding the right word, but basically it was very staticky and it was very loud. It scared the H-E-double-L out of me. 
I was not happy to be woken up that way. <laughs> um, and in another occasion, I don't know anything else about the TV situation. It turned on. I immediately turned it back off and did my best to go to sleep. I can't say I went back to sleep right away, but that was that. Um, but another incident that happened, it was at night. Um, me and my sister, Charity, Charity's the one who has passed away. I know I'll probably keep over explaining that, but she and I were in the living room. I want to say my brother was there, but I'm not for sure. Um, he like floated in and out of the room and was doing some things. So I don't know. Anyway, we were in the living room. Okay. And so we were sitting around and I want to say we were watching like TV or something. Well, we heard some clatter in the kitchen. Um, it's, a uh, my mama had one of them, uh, I want to say it's a porcelain sink. I don't know if they make those now or not. Um, but it was, um, it was a heavy duty old, older style sink. Okay. And so the dishes that had been done were in the strainer. Okay. And there was no reason for any of this to happen. Any logical reasoning, uh, but um, there was some clatter in the sink. And so me and my sister Charity got up and apparently some of the silverware decided to jump out of the strainer and into the sink. So yeah, so those are two weird and spooky experiences. I know they're probably nothing compared to my last spooky experience, but they are a spooky experience nonetheless. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please continue to comment down below any extra um, experiences that you or some friends that you know have had. I would love to get more comments on them. Um, I love learning about different spooky experiences as well. Wherever this video finds you, I hope that you are at peace and you have calmness and you have love and you are successful in all of your positive endeavors. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace out. Me.